Hello everybody and thank you for joining me on this video. I'm uh, doing this video to uh, give you a recap of the last two games. The This is this episode two of my series recap for the 2020 Minnesota Twins. They beat the St. Louis Cardinals tonight 3-0. They got their first shutout of the season behind Rich Hill and his great performance. I'll get into that. They won last night as well and they take both games in the series and now end the series uh, with the Cardinals with a 4-1 and record. Have the 4-2 and Indians coming into town starting tomorrow on a nationally televised Fox game. So should be a real good series. Let's jump right into it. I want to jump right into the uh, seventh inning, which I thought was the most important inning. Marwin Gonzalez singles. Arias also singles, moving Marwin to third. With one out, Donaldson comes up. You've got your free agent power hitter. You know, hit 37 home runs last year. He's your he's your premier um, signee. He's your number two hitter. He's got power. He just crushes at target field, and he chopped it to third. And the Cardinals were down three nothing at this point. They made the decision to go home and get Marwin Gonzalez out. Now, that was a good play on the Cardinals' end. Gonzalez, to be honest, watching the ball, it wasn't really hit deep enough for him to try and get back to the base, so he was kind of caught off guard by it. Um, I, You know, not off guard, but he was kind of caught in no man's land where he wasn't going to be able to get back to the base safely, but he also wasn't going to be able to make it home. You know, on a situation, on a play like that, though, you almost, as a third baseman, you when you're when you have your lead, you have to go as the runner on third, because if the balls hit too short, you're out. But if the balls hit over the head or takes a weird hop or chops really high, you're gonna score. So, and that's gonna give you an insurance run. Did he have to go? No, but. It, it didn't end up costing the Twins the game. I wouldn't call it a base running error. I think, like I said, he was caught in no man's land. It wasn't hit really deep. So he was he was kind of too far off the bag to be able to get back. It was a third baseman over to, the, over to Molina, and Molina ran him back, or ran him down. So that puts Donaldson at first, Arise at second. They both advanced, and then Polanco flied to left. I thought that was the most important inning. For one reason, and that was that's one of the few chances this year the Twins have had to score a run and really kind of break the game open, and they didn't do it, especially with Donaldson, Polanco, and Cruz coming up next. Those are your big three guys, and you have first and third no, or you I'm sorry, you have first and third one out, and you fail to score. So I thought that was a really important inning. Um, thankfully, it didn't, like I said, didn't cost the Twins the game, but. Uh, let's talk about this game. Cruz RBI double to score Arias in the first. Luis Arias unsurprisingly walked. Uh, it was pretty ni- It was a nice walk. Cruz ripped a double to the right center field gap. And then in the fourth inning, uh, Rosario hit a home run. I was changing my fantasy baseball lineups today, and I was looking, and I went, oh, Buxton's out of the lineup. Uh, Garver's out of the lineup. Uh, Kepler's out of the lineup. I went, Today is the day that Rosario is going to do something, I bet. I just had this feeling. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I'm glad he hit a home run, gets him off, kind of gets him going. So and we all know when Eddie Rosario gets going, Eddie Rosario can get going. Um, also note Miguel Sano uh, with his performance tonight is now down to 071 this season. Uh, I want to talk about a few other things. Uh, one of the big things uh, the Twins did tonight is they got the, I mentioned the Cruz RBI double in the first. In the games the Twins have won, which is game one, three, four, and tonight, here's what here's they've scored early. It's been a common theme. They scored four runs in the first inning in the first game of the year. The third game of the year, they scored four in the first, five in the second. Yesterday, they scored five in the second. Tonight, they scored one in the first and two in the fourth. So they're putting their they're putting their their pitcher in a position where he can relax, know that if he gives up one, two, even three runs, it's not going to cost him the game. 
Uh, coincidentally, the three runs the Twins scored tonight matched their season low in runs with uh, the Chicago loss when they lost 10-3 to in Game 2. So just something to keep in mind. The Twins have been scoring early and in bunches. That helps the pitching staff. And because of that, in those games, Maeda, Bailey, and Hill... Uh, when the Twins have got, when the starting pitchers got in the win, Maeda went five innings, two earned runs. Bailey, five innings, two earned runs. Hill, five innings, no earned runs. So that's 15 innings and four earned runs. So the pitching staff is really, really, you can tell, see the starters have just been phenomenal in those wins. Even in the loss, uh, Dobnik went four innings, gave up one earned run. So that was really good too. Uh, the Twins did win the uh, first game, I didn't want to throw that stat in there because Barrios got shelled. I kind of wanted to show you, you know, when, when the when they get a quality start and the Twins starter gets the win, 15 innings, four earned runs. Let's talk Rich Hill. Uh, great debut tonight for the Twins. Five innings, two hits, no runs, one walk, two strikeouts. They really didn't make any hard contact on him. They got a couple of singles, but it was... Uh, it was just kind of soft contact. 68 pitches, 41 strikes. He was slinging stuff all over the strike zone. They were, they were, you know, hitting it, you know, hitting it into the ground, flying out. You know, they. He was really, really on tonight, which was good to see, especially for somebody making a season debut after one coming to a new team and two being hurt. Tyler Duffy, one inning. Uh, 17 pitches, nine strikeout or nine strikes, three strikeouts. The thing that is important about this was that none of Tyler Duffy's strikeouts were from that curveball. Obviously, his curveball is his best pitch. Uh, he had two strikeouts on the four seam fastball, one swinging, one looking, and then one on the slider. Duffy went in there and he was completely dominating the Cardinals. That you you could feel it watching the game. The Cardinals couldn't touch Tyler Duffy. He's, he's become the Twins' uh, best reliever, in my opinion, behind Taylor Rogers. Sergio Romo, one inning, one strikeout, still has the epic beard. Taylor Rogers made his season debut tonight, 11 pitches and two strikeouts, a 1-2-3 top of the ninth, earned, earned his first save of the year. Struck of those two strikeouts, it was the top three guys in the St. Louis lineup. So it was their one, two, and three hitters, including Fowler and Goldschmidt. So very, very, very nice effort by Taylor Rogers. Heads up, kudos to him. Thumbs up, Taylor Rogers, for that. Um, wanted to uh, saw an interesting thing on Twitter from Do Young Park, the uh, Twins beat writer. Fowler's hit in the eighth inning was the first hit since the second inning with uh, when they had second inning single with one out. So that really showed you the Twins really kept the Cardinals off balance all night long. The Twins, their Cardinals really couldn't do anything against the Twins pitchers. Uh, I think they ended up with five hits. You know, the Twins didn't do a lot either. They only ended up with five or six hits also, but it was the ones that came around to score that mattered. Uh, a couple other notes here. Tyler Clippard fans Car Matt Carpenter on a changeup in the eighth inning. I thought that was a really important at bat because Matt Carpenter was up 3 0 and in danger of walking and um, getting a. Uh, they had a runner on first at that point anyway. So if he had walked, it would have been first and second, nobody out, and who knows what happens. Uh, Matt Weeters was up next. He hit a little lazy uh, infield fly ball. I don't know what Dexter Fowler was doing. He was running on the pitch. And the Twins turned a double play. Arias caught the ball and flipped it over to Marwin Gonzalez. Uh, cool moment for the Twins. Aaron Whitefield, he, he was a defensive uh, replacement in center field for Jake Cave. Had his first major league at bat and grounded out to second. So not the result he was hoping for, but still a very cool moment. So congratulations, Aaron Whitefield, on your first major league at bat. Uh, one other thing I mentioned, the Twins uh, starters um, scoring runs. I mentioned the Twins scoring runs early in the game. I mentioned their starters when they in games they win. Here's the Twins bullpen in wins. 
in their wins. Four innings, eight strikeouts, four innings, five strikeouts, four innings, four strikeouts, five innings, seven strikeouts, 17 innings, 24 strikeouts. They have given up a few runs, obviously. Um, you know, last night Trevor May gave up a home run. That one wasn't necessarily his fault totally. It was it bounced off of Buxton's glove. I believe in the Homer Bailey game, the game, no, that was that game. Uh, there was another game, I believe, in Chicago where a Twins reliever gave up a run and a win. But for the most part, the Twins, the Twins bullpen has been dominating. So when the Twins turn uh, the lead over to the bullpen, they have been outstanding. 17 innings pitch, 24 strikeouts in their four wins. So um, very, very good. Before I sign off tonight, I wanted to do a little kind of something cool. I mentioned Eddie Rosario hit his first home run of the year this season in the fourth inning. One of the things I wanted to show is my game used Eddie Rosario bat. I got this on eBay a couple of years ago. It is, he uses a brand called Victus. There's that. This is a mark that Major League Baseball puts into the bats right here. You can always tell if you're buying an authentic game-used bat from the Twins because a lot of them will have the bat knob sticker. And you can see Rosario's, this one does. This has the 20 on it. It won't always have it. And you want to look for, obviously, MLB authentication. But this one's cool. I got Eddie Rosario to sign that last year at Twins Fest. So um, there's that. These are actually, if you're wondering what these are, these are all cleat marks. I asked Eddie what those were, and he said they were cleat marks. So he was he thought it was pretty neat. It is a cracked bat, so he did break his bat. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any authentication. So I don't know uh, when he used it, but it does have this right here, which is a manufacturing date. So this bat was made February 6, 2018. And this was the eighth batch. So 02, 06, 18. So February 6, 2018, and this was the eighth batch. It's a 33 and a half ounce, 31 in, 33 and a half inch, 31 ounce bat. So, uh, Eddie Rosario, player of the game, home run, Rich Hill. I don't have anything signed of his, but wanted to kind of do that. Also, going to be doing a giveaway for fans on, uh, on here. This is going to post to YouTube, and then I will share it on Twitter and Facebook as well. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away a signed Twins baseball. I will uh, let the winner pick between two or three different baseballs. And all you have to do is message me. You either have to DM me or uh, contact me in private with the, um, with the keyword that I'm going to give in each video. And in honor of the twins wearing the baby blues, today's keyword is Kirby, as in Kirby Puckett, who is my favorite player ever and who's the first player I think of when I think of the baby blues. So today's is Kirby. I will announce a winner um, after every series. We're going to do this. So the winner will be announced Sunday after the Cleveland series. Double your so every time you message if you message me that that's one entry if you get someone to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter that's an entry and if you f subscribe to my YouTube channel that's an entry so you have lots of chances to win I will be doing a randomize a uh, random.com video to pick the winner but great series twins win both games they win tonight by a score of 3 nothing first shutout of the year. Again, Twins Rich Hill in his debut. Five innings, two hits, no walks. No, I'm sorry, five innings, two hits, no runs, one walk, two strikeouts, 68 pitches, 41 strikes. They could not touch his stuff. So great job. Cleveland coming in tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Thanks. And again, we're, the, the Twins word of the day is Kirby. Have a good day, and as always, go Twins, go Bomba Squad, 2020 World Series champs.